Yeah, so this is the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> hey, look at my pants. They are drenched all the way. <sighs> so this is the highest point in the reserve and it's called Hiawayo. And when you come here, the view is just breathtaking. It's worth it. I mean, it's, <laughs> you might be crying during the hike, but when you get here, it's really worth it. It's really worth it. So you should come. But it's not for the faint heart, because you might not like it. So maybe the first time you come, you try a, a smaller. It was at this moment that the baboons wanted in on the action. But before that, let's go back to what you need to know. The hike to Hiawayo could either be four to five hours or shorter, which is two to three hours, in and out, if you choose to drive to the base of the hill before climbing. I didn't know this before I went, but I would advise you go with an SUV as the terrain is unsuitable for small cars. And oh, it's also advisable to go as early as possible, preferably before 9am, or time it well enough to catch the magnificent sunset, so say 2pm. is the name and in the olden days they put their war drum a drum that when they spy at the top and see people coming to attack them they bring it out they have entry that is two-way open cave they have entry and then the exit and they drown for the young girls and then the, lady, the ladies or the young ones to run into the cave and then the men fight okay. yeah, so that's why we call it here or drum cave if they were not occupying the cave and from the cave to their settlement is very far. If you want to get there, it's, it's more than one hour walk, of which some of us, we don't, we don't go there because they have their shrines and other things there. So we are going to hit 290 meters above sea level to the cave. As we walk along, we see some of the portraits and then where they arrange stones to put up their muddy houses for like the have a place we have the dam here the sayu dam sorry they here we will dam where they fetch water from here walk all the way to their, their settlements yeah for now when you go there you see water mm -hmm. it's, yeah. but in the dry season, it doesn't hold any water yeah. so that is basically about the here where you keep the average modern human it's not built for a terrain like this. He might kid himself that he has stamina, but that vanishes into thin air when faced with an actual challenge. This adult male complains bitterly about an easy 30 minute hike up the hill. Somehow. Somehow. How is this somehow? Yeah, because it is not only hiking that is purely an exercise that will make you sick. So it is one part that will make you sick. But there are other things that when you do like good eating habits can make you very strong. Yeah. Like jogging, doing a lot of this and how do you call it exercise. So much exercise and other things can make you sick. So it's only hiking that will make me sick. That's what, that's what I added to okay. They get schooled by the professional whose superhuman stamina is the envy of the other two wusses. Anyway, three caves can be found in the Shai Reserve, and these are Ajuku, Sayu, and Hiaoyo.
people seeking adventure can climb to the summit of these caves and enjoy the magnificent views that await them at the top. It was such a relief for these two modern adults. The actual sighting of a monitor lizard would have been detrimental to their already shaky walk to the top of the hill. They would have gone running back like babies. This is very difficult. Like, uh, it's repeated. How many minutes are you resting? Two. Two. They can no longer take it. Relax. You become more tired. Okay. Don't it is here nowadays because of the baboon. They take everything out before it matures. Even the fruit, the, the leaves. Yeah. When you go to the, uh, when you go to the northern section. They need to, to prepare kuka. What? Kuka. Kuka is a type of soup. That is prepared by the northern people. Oh, okay. I think we are at the top already. This is the suraku, the bed. Oh. You want to keep them? You want it? Take it, give it to you. Collecting trophies. Tis, tis, tis. Are we there? Holy crap! Well, this was before Ishmael, our guide, made us go through the cave and come out of the other side to the top of the hill. There are two ways to do this. If you're claustrophobic, please tell your guide you'd rather choose the easy way. Are you coming? Okay. Try to it. Yo, man. At least, you should have had an idea. We're crawling out of like rocks. Oh man, at least the view is consoling. Mm. Are we going through this thing again? No. Oh, thank goodness. Yo, 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 yo. yo. Ah, you should go through the same thing. Yes, I went through the hole. Not this time. Yeah. Wow. Trying to play pickaboo. Join us again for another adventure coming soon.